Cook La Vie with Sarah brought to you by Rembrandt Hotel, Bangkok, Thailand. Rang Mahal Rooftop Indian Restaurant, Da Vinci Ristorante Italiano. Senor Pico Modern Mexican and Tequila Bar and Red Pepper Seafood at its best, all located at Rembrandt Hotel, Bangkok, Thailand. Welcome to the Rembrandt Hotel. It's a great pleasure to have you here today. Thank you so much. It is our pleasure also to be here. Okay. The warmth in Thailand is amazing. Everybody knows Thailand for the hospitality. So it's great. First uh, show in Thailand. What you will be making for us today? Today our dishes are an inspiration from Hyderabadi cuisine, okay. but with a modern twist. Okay. Sounds very interesting. That uh, brings back some very fond memories actually because uh, in 2006 I had the opportunity to accompany my father oh. Mr. Shivnath Rai Bajaj to Hyderabad and uh, where he received the uh, Pravasi Bhatia Samman Award. Oh, I actually see. he was the first uh, Indian from Thailand hmm. to receive that so I also had the opportunity to try some of the Hyderabadi cuisine there as well which was very very exciting and uh, today we have a very special guest his Excellency, our Indian Ambassador to Thailand, Mr. Anil Vadwaji, will be accompanying you and helping you. And I'm sure both of you are going to have a lovely, great time cooking together. And you'll probably learn a lot more then. Yeah. Yeah. What better way to start our journey in Thailand towards cooking oh, yes, with him? Yes. Welcome, welcome. They can't it's be pleasure. anything better. Really a pleasure to have you here. <laughs> Welcome to our show, Your Excellency, the Ambassador of India, Mr. Anil Vadwa. It's really a pleasure to have you on our Thank show. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure for me to be here as well. It's a very interesting concept and I really wanted to be here. Okay, one question. Is it appropriate for me to call you by your first name? Of course you can. No problem. So it can be stress-free, I can be more relaxed. Absolutely. That's the way it should be. <laughs> so today we are going to be uh, cooking some Indian food. Actually, uh, the first two dishes at least are Hyderabadi cuisine inspired dishes, yes. but I'm not going the classic way, it's with a modern twist. Mm. The first one is on Mirchi Ka Salan, very popular Hyderabadi dish. Very dish, popular, yes. Which is actually a very lengthy and cumbersome cooking process to it, mm -hmm. but we are going to do the Jhatpat style. Okay, very nice. So, what we are going to call it fried chilies and tamarind sauce with fresh pomegranate. So, we're giving it a modern twist. Right, right. So, would you like to help with the cooking? Uh, yes, certainly. Certainly? certainly yes. Okay. Start. While the pan is getting hot here, we've got our oil for our tempering. The tempering ingredients are cumin seeds, mustard and curry leaves, which is a very yes. popular ingredient in our Indian cooking. Mm -hmm. And chilies are pan fried and kept. We've got some tamarind and jaggery to give that sweet, sour, tangy flavor. And peanuts will give some body and a little bit of coconut. Usually what we do is 
This whole thing of coconut, nuts, sesame seeds and poppy seeds are grinded into a paste. That's a separate paste made and then you have another sauce paste and then you have your tempering. Yeah. The elaborate Mirchika mm. Swasal and the original one. But we're doing a quicker version today. Right. So I'll, let's... Uh, I'll throw in some oil. Start with the oil. Yeah, as it's getting hot, we throw in the seeds. In the seeds. You seem to be pretty hands-on. I don't need to tell you anything. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've uh, done some cooking before, so... Although I don't cook as often as you do, so... <laughs> It's not a regular um, habit with me, but uh, I feel comfortable with it. I mean, you are, you're very comfortable. I'm getting a bit mm. jittery now. <laughs> <laughs> the flavors of the cumin seeds and mustard seeds are... Absolutely it's wonderful, yes. Yeah. yeah. So now, I think uh, they have spluttered a bit. Put in peanuts. They are a bit roasted, but even if they were not roasted, they would get roasted in here. Right. Chilli powder, not much. We've already got chilies. Turmeric to add colour and it's a good antiseptic also. Put in the chilies. A little bit of coconut. Jaggery. Taste. This will help. Certainly. That will give it the tangy flavor. Yeah. And, and some gravy and body to the thing. Right. Okay. Salt. Mix it all up. Peanuts kind of give a nutty flavor and yeah. also some depth and body to the gravy. So you look pretty done. You want to test if my salt segment yeah. was okay? Yes, of course. Why don't you try this and see whether the sauce is fine? Yeah, I should try. This is the first time someone gave me to try. <laughs> mm. Tastes good? Yeah, I'm not bad. Okay. I'm not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You can take it out here. Yeah. <laughs> Garnish with some fresh pomegranate. And this looks is wonderful with the and pomegranate. Yeah, huh? and this is our yeah. Modern version of Mirchi Wonderful, kasada. wonderful. Looks very nice and delicious. So this was quick? Yes, mm. it was because uh, all the ingredients were out already and uh, we didn't have to do much. Yeah, and if we have a cook like you, I mean, this is our first episode in Bangkok, now mm. in Thailand. And what more better can we ask for? We have the ambassador of India, who seems to be a foodie, <laughs> and uh, you are going to be a real inspiration to so many men they, when Thank they you. watch this show. And they Thank better you. learn that it's not just a woman's job to sit and cook. It's certainly not. I think mm. all the best chefs are men, if you I know. That's true. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> you're, I think you're going to really get me out of job. First, you're cooking so well. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. <laughs> well, our next dish after this is uh, based on the classic biryani, have the Indian biryani, normally you would associate it with a meat dish. Mm -hmm. So we are doing it a vegetarian version, but giving it a little twist, not the usual vegetable biryani. We are going to do it with the cilantro mint pesto Very and nice. top it up with mozzarella. Oh wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Chilies with tamarind and pomegranate. Six to eight green chilies, fried. One teaspoon mustard seeds. One teaspoon cumin seeds. Two tablespoons peanuts, coarsely ground. One tablespoon tamarind pulp. One teaspoon jaggery. Two to three tablespoons coconut milk. Half a teaspoon red chili powder. Quarter teaspoon turmeric powder. One tablespoon oil. Two tablespoons fresh pomegranate. Sprig of curry leaves, salt to taste. Heat oil and fry the seeds till they splutter. Add curry leaves, peanuts and fry for a minute. Add chilies and rest of the ingredients. Serve garnished with fresh pomegranate. The 
Okay, our ingredients for the second dish are ready. Actually, for the cilantro mint pesto, which is uh, basically uh, similar to our green chutney. Yes. I've got the ingredients blended here. Mm -hmm. You've got coriander leaves, mint leaves, some green chilies, onions, and cashew nuts. Cashew nuts. We blended yes. them all. Cashew nuts kind of give a creamy texture. And some garlic. Garlic as well. As yeah. well yeah. yeah. We've got roasted peppers here, all three colors, green peas, cumin seeds. What we're going to do is we're going to temper the rice with cumin seeds. Yes. And then we'll saute our the pesto we made and add in our vegetables. Mm -hmm. Layer it in a dish, top it with mozzarella and pine nuts and bake it till the mozzarella is melted and the pine nuts are brown. Well, that's quite wonderful because um, you seem to have done uh, multiple cuisines. You've done a number of shows as well. And uh, in all these cuisines, you use vegetarian food, is yeah. that right? Yeah. And you do vegetarian dishes. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a great feeling to actually be able to cook the same thing in different cuisines, mix them all together. I don't think I've ever had biryani like this before. What drink would you think would go with this biryani? Uh, I think normally, uh, you know, in the Indian context, of course, uh, lassi would be wonderful. With the modern biryani? With the modern biryani, well, you'll have to suggest a wine. I think yeah. some white wine because white of wine. the cheese in it. Okay. Right. So, some light white wine. So can we get your glass now? Certainly, why not? Yeah. Enjoy your wine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Aap wine enjoy karo, main shuru karu. Yes, please. Yeah. Put in some oil. And I'll throw in some cumin seeds. Rice which is boiled and kept here will go in. Right. So we just uh, flavor the rice a bit by tempering yes. it with cumin seeds and salt. Right. Adding in some rice. Right. So our rice is tempered and I'll put in a little more oil. Right. Add some crushed black cardamoms. So I'll put in the blended green paste. We have blended the coriander leaves, mint leaves, cashew nuts. You don't need to fry this too long, just a couple of minutes. Okay. Add in some beaten yogurt. Boiled green peas, roasted peppers. You could just use red peppers, all three colors yellow and green to give color to the dish. Some salt, a little bit of sugar, mix well, and add about two tablespoons of fresh cream. Okay. Now this looks pretty done. Yeah. No minute ka kaam. Now we've got our rice here. To fill it up, that in the rice. And pour the sauce over it. Some fresh mozzarella, give it a little creamy flavor to it. Right. Sprinkle some pine nuts. A slice of tomato here to give it a little color. Yes. Now this will go into the oven for about 10-15 minutes till the cheese is melted and the pine nuts are toasted. Roasted, yeah. The first dish we made, the chilies dish, goes very well with any biryani, any rice dish. That's a good accompaniment for us mm -hmm. as a side dish to a rice dish. Right. So after this, we'll go to a dessert. Mm -hmm. Now, we're used to making pirnis and um, what you call shahi tukda and rabdis. We are going to make a white chocolate rabdi. Oh, how nice. Also a fusion dish. Okay, a fusion yeah. dish. Mozzarella biryani with pesto. One and a half cups uncooked rice. Boil the rice, drain and keep aside to cool half a teaspoon cumin seeds, two tablespoons oil, salt to taste. Heat oil, add cumin seeds, fry till they crackle, add rice and salt, keep aside. For curry, one cup green peas boiled, 250 grams roasted peppers diced, two black cardamoms, quarter cup yogurt, two tablespoons fresh cream, one teaspoon sugar, two tablespoons pine nuts, two fresh mozzarella balls, two tablespoons oil to be ground to create a paste, one cup coriander leaves, six to seven green chilies, quarter cup mint leaves, one medium onion, 
4 cloves garlic, 10 cashew nuts, 1 tablespoon lime juice. Heat oil and add crushed black cardamoms. Add the ground mint paste and fry for a couple of minutes. Add yogurt, cream, green peas, sugar and roasted peppers. Place rice at the bottom of a greased oven proof dish. Pour the green curry over the rice. Top it with mozzarella chunks and pine nuts. Bake it in the oven for 10 minutes till the cheese melts. Serve. So we are going to do a fusion rabri. rabri. Okay. A white chocolate rabri. Right. For which we've got milk, full cream milk, mm -hmm. cream, mm -hmm. some white chocolate which is here. Okay. And we're going to use um, custard to thicken it. Thicken it. Usually right. we rabri is boiled for hours and hours to make it thick, but we're going to use custard. Let's go for it. Everything goes in together. You've got All your right. milk, cream, white chocolate. This does the work of sugar as well, so we right. don't need to add don't need sugar. Extra sugar. Yeah, I've dissolved custard in a little bit of milk here. Mm -hmm. So we have to keep stirring it continuously when we add the custard, yes. so that it doesn't get too lumpy. Right. Does the chocolate get stuck stuck to the pan if you don't uh, yeah. stir? Yeah. So it has to be done continuously. Uh. Yeah. Actually, not so much the chocolate because you've got so much liquid there, mm -hmm. so it won't really get stuck. Okay. But it's the custard. Custard, yes. Yeah, yes. which can form lumps if you don't stir. Right, right. Because we're using that as a thickener. Yeah. Normally right. for any um, other desserts, cream mm -hmm. brulee or whatever, you use egg yolks, eggs right. to thicken. Right. Here we're making it vegetarian and we want it to have a rubbery feel. Right. Either you cook the milk to mm. Half the quantity, or which we don't want to do. Nobody has the time to do things. Yes. So these are easy things, ways out for it's, the traditional. It's wonderful for quick cooking. It's a very, very nice uh, method to do that. I think this is quite a heavy dessert, mm. and so nice to Only serve some in, in the little dessert little cups, dessert or, cups yeah, yes. or short. Glass. Is it done already? Or? I think it's quite oh, it done. It's, as it cools, also it's going to thicken. Honey roasted almonds, toasted almonds. Here we go. Our white chocolate rubbery is ready. White chocolate rubbery. 300 milliliters full fat milk. 250 milliliters cream. 100 grams white chocolate broken into small pieces. 1 tablespoon custard powder dissolved in 2 tablespoons of cold milk. Honey roasted almonds crushed coarsely. Put milk and cream in a heavy baste pan and bring to a boil. Reduce heat and cook, stirring continuously for 10 to 15 minutes. Add custard powder paste and cook for another 10 minutes. Remove from heat and stir in the white chocolate mix till dissolved. Chill thoroughly. Serve garnished with crushed roasted almonds. Wonderful. And what Wonderful. did you think of our cooking well, today? Well, it was very, very convenient and uh, very quick and these are uh, excellent shortcut methods I must say. Uh, I'm sure it's all going to be delicious as well. I must say you're really hands-on with cooking. I've so far not had any uh, male guest who's helped me so much and Thank I can so see by the way you're stirring and doing mm -hmm. that you do cook. So for a person who wears so many hats, can I present with another hat? Thank you very much. Thank you. So this is cook, love, eat with Sarab. It's going to be a prized possession. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you very much. It was uh, my pleasure to be here with you. So the show is not going to end without your lines, I believe. What are your lines for the show? When food is cooked with love, served with love, mm -hmm. eaten with love, it not only nourishes your body, but also your soul. How true. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to Cook, Love, Eat with Sarab. My name is Karma and as you know, Sarab Ji has been delighting us 
the past few days at Rembrandt Hotel with her beautiful presence and great knowledge of vegetarian cooking. Today I have the great pleasure of taking her sightseeing around my hometown of Bangkok. It was really a pleasure cooking with you the other day, Anilji, yes. and you cooked so comfortably. Where does this passion for cooking come from? You know, when I was a, a child, uh, I used to watch people cook and that was a fascinating uh, you know, thing for me because I always used to wonder how all the ingredients in the kitchen get turned into something uh, which is edible. Mm. And uh, I started watching other people uh, in the kitchen and uh, then when I was of some age where I could handle the fire myself, mm -hmm. I tried to do it and took permission from my mother. Uh, and she allowed me to do that, go into the kitchen. Now, sometimes with the cook, uh, sometimes uh, she herself was there. Uh, she liked uh, to actually encourage me mm. to do it. And uh, she also explained to me the reasons why something goes into a particular dish. Mm -hmm. So it was more of a passion, a sort of hobby, uh, whatever you might call it, and that sort of developed. So it comes from the mother, really. I think so. I yes. think so. Yes. And you yeah. So for how long have you been in Thailand? I've been in Thailand for more than a year now, uh, and I was here since last November. Um, it's been a very good experience in Thailand, and we're talking about food, I think uh, Thailand offers a lot of uh, variety. There is so much of uh, Indian cuisine, but of course Thai cuisine, but also international cuisine here. And you find some excellent restaurants. So uh, I think it's a great place to be in. The people are nice and uh, you know, for food wise, of course, there is no complaint whatsoever. Yeah, that's true. And what's your favorite Thai dish here? Well, uh, I have many, but um, I, I think anything which uh, resembles the Indian palate Okay. is preferable <laughs> yeah, yeah. and uh, normally what happens is that the Indian palate doesn't take so easily to fish sauce yeah. which is the base in many Thai uh, dishes uh, but as long as it's not prominent uh, I think uh, we all like it and I, so do I, I mean, that's my general yardstick. Before Thailand where all have you been? I started from Hong Kong and uh, then I went to China twice. I was in Beijing on two occasions. I've also served in Geneva, uh, in The Hague, uh, and uh, my ambassadorial posts have been in Warsaw, in Muscat, and now in Bangkok. So it's quite a varied landscape of countries and people and different cultures. Thank you so much. It was really a pleasure meeting you, knowing you, and having you on the show. Thank you very much for involving me with the show. It was very enjoyable for me as well. And uh, I wish you all the best in your future shows. Uh, and I'm sure they'll keep inspiring people around the world. Hola. So we're making Mexican food today. 
I'm sure it's going to be very Mama Sita. Like us on Facebook and send us your recipe. The person with the best recipe wins a chance to be on our show. Cook Love Eat with Sarah brought to you by Rembrandt Hotel, Bangkok, Thailand. Senior Pico Modern Mexican and Tequila Bar, Da Vinci, Restaurante Italiano, Rang Mahal Rooftop Indian Restaurant, and Red Pepper Seafood at its best. All located at Rembrandt Hotel, Bangkok, Thailand. Official magazine India Say, supported by Masala Hot Talk from Thailand's Indian community. Thank <laughs> you.